Coming up on Look Today, well, $1.3 million of the New York State budget will be allocated to the city of Saratoga Springs to construct the Greenbelt Trails. I've got details. And after an impressive transformation, the Stony Creek Ranch and Resort is open to the public again. More on that coming up. Plus, the 17th annual Cambridge Valley Festival will commence early June. I've got details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with Scott Hayden. He's the executive director of the Adirondack Folk School and he's here to talk about the exciting new courses the school has to offer this summer season. I also sit down with John Musacchio. He's president of the Mendelssohn Club and joined by Jeffrey Vreidenberg. He's a conductor for the club and they're here to talk about their upcoming concert. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, Governor Cuomo announced $112 million in funding to create trails across New York State that will connect all of the regions. $1.3 million of that will be allocated to the city of Saratoga Springs to construct the Green Belt Trails. Now, Saratoga will receive an additional $1.5 million in grants to commence the first phase of the project. The downtown connector is what it's called. Now, this system of trails will encourage bicycling and hiking as alternative modes of transportation. We had the opportunity to speak to Mayor Joanne Yepsen about this. So I'm calling it the Park to Park to Park Trail. And what I thought was really awesome about the downtown connector and why I really wanted it to be the next priority for us is because it helps to connect three wonderful urban parks in our city. It goes from High Rock Park to Congress Park and then to, of course, the State Park. And the State Parks have already done a lot of renovation and upgrades in their trail systems. What a great idea. Now, we will have a lot more coverage of the Greenbelt Trail in the coming days and weeks. Well, in other news, this is a great story. Over the weekend, we were at the Stony Creek Resort right outside of Warrensburg for its grand reopening. Now recently, the ranch went through a significant transformation and is now open to the public again, offering the ideal getaway for those who want to experience the Wild West and the Adirondacks. Well, the resort offers rodeos, horseback riding, river trips, a pool, and classic saloon. We spoke to Scott McLean. He's owner of the ranch. Uh, just taking a look at the work that they've done is a testament to the love and the passion that's gone into this place and the history behind it. Uh, you know, we have guests who've been coming here 30, 40 years and uh, we just want to make sure that this place is here for the next generation, you know, their kids when they come here and then their kids' kids and this place just keeps growing and, and being just this remarkable location up in the Adirondacks. I couldn't agree with Scott Moore. Now, we were up there on Saturday and shot hours and hours of footage, so we'll have a lot of stories and a lot of videos about this in the days and weeks to come. Now, while we were there, check this out. We also had the opportunity to speak to Mark Munzer. Now, what makes him special? He's a cowboy poet. A cowboy poet relates the stories using poetic parlance, uh, rhyme and meter, of the westward movement and ranching culture, a little bit of the rodeo culture, anything to do with the uh, you know, movement westward mm -hmm. and the founding of our country. Now, we're going to close out the show tonight with a special treat featuring Mark, so stick around for that. All right, switching from news to weather. After a cloudy weekend, the skies cleared out, the sun came out, beautiful day yesterday and today. So how's the week shaping up? For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thank you, Jesse. As we take a look at the first look forecast going through the next couple of days, well, right now some wetter weather is trying to set its sights on us right now. 
plentiful of heavy shower and thunderstorm activity down across portions of the mid-Atlantic region and southeast stretching from about South Carolina back up into portions of southern Maryland. Some heavy rain threat will continue to linger there over the next few days as this low is kind of stuck in place circulating there. We're also going to be watching another couple storm systems moving across the country very, fairly quickly and that's going to give us better rain chances here across our region. But you can still see the stalled out front kind of the dividing line before between the heavier rainfall to the south. A little bit drier conditions with us at least for tonight. That will change over the next 24 hours as we're going to see the cloud cover quickly increasing throughout the daytime tomorrow. But for tonight, temperatures a little bit on the chillier side, 39 degrees, bit of a north wind, clear weather though as we continue through the daytime tomorrow. That's when the cloud cover builds back in. We could see about half inch of rainfall in some spots to our south across the Glens Falls viewing area between about a tenth and a quarter inch of rainfall is expected high 54. Out and about early tomorrow morning, we'll see overcast skies, some patchy drizzle, or even some light showers may begin to start, but the bulk of the heavy wet weather activity will be with us later on into the evening. 43 to 46 as we walk out the door, and then here comes a little bit more of a wet forecast. For Wednesday, temperatures warm back up to 66. We'll see a 50% chance of showers. Thursday, sunshine. Then here comes another system that will take at least a slim shot of showers, put it back in the forecast for Friday and Saturday with temperatures both days in the low 70s. Well, that's it from the First Look Weather Center. Now let's get back to you, Jesse. Well, thanks, Brian. April showers. Back to the news. Well, the 17th annual Cambridge Valley Balloon Festival is coming back to town June 2nd through the 4th. Now, this year's festival will launch balloons all over the village as opposed to the high school, which is undergoing renovations. And the opening night will feature a block party and candlestick glow on Main Street. Now the following day, the Taste of Cambridge will take place featuring restaurants in the village. Now we're going to have the organizers of the event on for an interview and we'll have more details for you this week. All right, up next I sit down with Scott Hayden. He's executive director of the Adirondack Folk School and he's here to talk about the exciting courses the school has to offer this summer season. Plus I also sit down with John Musacchio He's the president of the Mendelssohn Club, and we're joined by Jeffrey Vredenberg. He's a conductor for the club, and they're here to talk about their upcoming concert performance. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I've got a lot to get through, so I'm going to move through it quickly. Uh, this week, on Monday, we'd like to look ahead. So Patrice Mastriani, Saratoga Bridges, is coming in. Candace Fry from Larrack in Glens Falls is coming in. Com Finance Commissioner Michelle Madigan. Garland Nelson, musician, entertainer, and activist, is coming in. And uh, a lookout has to go to the Stony Creek Ranch and Resort. When we were up there on Saturday shooting for all the, the video work that we're going to be doing over the course of the summer, i ca I got to tell you, something just really just really struck me. How connected the people are to this ranch for generations. I talked to people who were there when they were children and were now bringing back their grandchildren. And just the overriding camaraderie about the community, seeing this resort come back to life. You have to go up there for a rodeo, go to the saloon, just go up there and have a good time, all right? Uh, and like I said, we'll have a lot more on this over the course of the summer. And as promised, when we met Mark, the cowboy poet, I was really taken with, what's this guy about? So we said, well, how about a poem? So we said, you give us a poem, we'll take the show out with it on Monday night. So here's Mark, the cowboy poet. This is a story of a horse and a boy. A horse and a boy on a stony creek hill and a hanging on test of will. We just crowned the top and a snake on the trail, raised from a coil and rattling its tail. My horse goes to rear and off the trail we bent, brush and tree veer and faster and faster we went. Till my knee whacked a tree nearly turned me around. I knew I shouldn't be, I was upside down. The stirrup's the only thing holding me aboard, and I learned right quick to pray to the Lord. Another veer and I was back on top. My chest met a branch and it broke with a pop. I'm slung over the cantle looking up at the sky. I curl on up and I'm wondering why. Cause here comes a limb straight to my nose. I guess old thunder didn't hear my whoa boy woes. Just about the time I reach for the horn, there's a rock wall, we're airborne. My groin found the saddle, right hand one rein, my teeth began to rattle, bloody left digits stuck in his mane. Whoa, boy, whoa, when we slide to a stop. Couldn't believe it, I was still on top. 
Now here comes the posse to see if I'm okay. The first thing they did was check out that bay. Now I'm torn in two places requiring stitches. Truth be told, I needed clean bridges.